I wanted to clarify from my previous video about Cardinal Serra what actually happened with his resignation. So cardinals that work in the Vatican are required to submit their resignations at age 75. Cardinal Serra turned 75 a while ago, so he submitted his resignation as was required. Pope Francis chose to accept his resignation several months later. Currently, there are a number of cardinals in the Roman Curia that are older than Cardinal Serra, who Pope Francis has not yet chosen to accept their resignations, but they will soon follow Cardinal Serra in resigning. I'm just going to go through a list of these cardinals and discuss just a little bit about their positions. First one is Cardinal Olette. He's from Canada. He's a prefect of the Congregation for Bishops. It was talked about how Supich could be his replacement. That would be horrible, but Cardinal Olette has not been very Catholic whatsoever. Vigano called him out in a letter, and Cardinal Olette responded by criticizing Vigano for being disobedient. However, in this letter, Cardinal Olette confirmed several of the statements that Vigano made, lending credibility to Vigano. Also, Cardinal Olette is in charge of the church that housed the Pachamama idols during the Amazon Synod, so at any time he could have chosen to have them thrown in the river. Instead, there was a layman that had to throw them in the river. Moving on, Cardinal Luis Ladaria is the head of the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith. So with his retirement, uh... Who knows, maybe the faith will be destroyed even further. Cardinal Beniamino Stella is the head of the Congregation for Clergy. Cardinal Giuseppe Versaldi is the head of the Congregation for Catholic Education. Catholic education in the past, well, 50 years hasn't particularly thrived in any way. Most Catholic schools are shutting down, and especially now with Corona, it's expediating the closure of Catholic schools. Problem is, they're not preaching the Catholic faith, and do you think that Pope Francis would appoint someone who would want to promote the Catholic faith, especially in Catholic schools? Probably not. Cardinal Mara Piacenza is the prefect of the Apostolic Penitentiary. The Apostolic Penitentiary deals with indulgences and excommunications, the forgiveness of excommunications that would be incurred for sins such as defiling the Eucharist. This should not be confused with a penitentiary, which if the Vatican had a penitentiary, Pope Francis probably would have closed it as he opposes the sentence of life in prison. And Cardinal Leonardo Sandri is the head of the congregation for Oriental Churches. I would imagine that he will be replaced by someone from the Chinese Communist Party. So these are the cardinals that are past retirement age. At any second, Pope Francis could choose to accept their resignation and uh, appoint a new director of any of these congregations. Lastly, I want to talk about the Vatican Bank. Now, Cardinals Togley and Turkson have been appointed to oversee the Vatican Bank. As I'm sure you're aware, the Vatican Bank has been a cause of a lot of corruption. In fact, potentially massive corruption throughout the past 50 years. It is speculated that the resignation of Benedict and the death of Pope John Paul I had something to do with the Vatican Bank. These cardinals are two of Pope Francis's favorites. He would like to potentially see either of them become the next pope. They're on good terms with Pope Francis, and as a result, they will be able to control the Vatican's finances, however corrupt that may be. So now, with Cardinal Perlin gone, these two cardinals will manage the finances of the Vatican Bank. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't expect it to get cleaned up anytime soon.